Well, I'm just a few miles north of uh, Custer's Battlefield, and uh, it's 91 degrees out, which is a lot warmer than it was where I live. And I just realized I forgot to bring my battery charger for my batteries for my camera. So I will probably have to be using my uh, cell phone to take uh, video at the uh, demo in Loveland, but uh, that's okay. I didn't want to have to set my camera up all day anyway. Well, we're coming up on uh, the Custer Battlefield now. It, uh, I can see the uh, line of trees up there right next to the battlefield and uh, right through those trees. All right, that's Last Stand Hill. That's the uh, monument that uh, they put up for the uh, battle or the last stand. You can see the gravestones. That's where the bodies were left and uh, they marked each body with a gravestone. They actually buried them in a mass grave where that white uh, monument is. That's Last Stand Hill. That's where the Battle of the Little Bighorn took place right there. 140 some odd years ago. So that's the uh, Custer Battlefield all the way along this uh, southern route here. If you can imagine in that field right there were hundreds and hundreds of teepees of the uh, Cheyenne and the and it's just an amazing feeling to know so much history took place right here. That's Weir's Point. That's where uh, they could see the battle going on up north and uh, they saw the, you know, the battle that Custer was having with the Indians. And uh, then they rode back uh, south a little bit further. And that's where they had their battle, Reno and them. Anyway, sorry, I can't show you more than that. Oh, that might be the... Well, just left Wyoming. Or no, just left Montana. 310 miles. I'm in Wyoming. I'm not leaving Wyoming. I'm getting into Wyoming. Let's see, we got a sign coming up. Sheridan is 24 miles. I think I might try to make it to Casper, Wyoming tonight. Alright, it's uh, Thursday morning, the uh, 6th of uh, Jul uh, August. 6th of August. The 6th of August already. Anyway, I'm heading to uh, Loveland, Colorado from uh, Casper, Wyoming. It's about uh, a little after 9 o'clock in the morning. I've got, uh, I think, 147 miles before I get to Cheyenne. <coughs> and I don't think it's that far from Cheyenne to Loveland, Colorado. Um, couldn't find a motel anywhere last night. I mean, I, I was trying to get one in Buffalo, which was about 108 or 9 miles from Casper. But they didn't even have any rooms. And I asked, what's going on? And he's, the lady at the uh, desk said, well, it's Sturgis. Everybody's going to Sturgis. And all the motel rooms were uh, taken. So I... Uh, Called around, found a place down in uh, Ca Casper, the Royal Inn, I think it was called. And uh, the picture of the uh, inn is much prettier than the actual place was when you go online. And uh, I tried to give him my credit card. He said, "Don't worry about it. I'm holding the room for you." And then when I got there, I I, I found out why because and. I don't know, it just, it felt really creepy to me, especially since I never saw the front desk or the guy at the front desk, because it was all through a tiny opening in a window. I handed him my credit card, he gave me a, 
um, you know, a uh, inkjet uh, printout of a check-in sheet, which really didn't look like any check-in sheet I've ever made out. And uh, then I went to dinner at uh, some pancake house. It was a chain pancake house. And it was a very old one that's been there, oh, probably 50 years. But uh, anyway, the hamburger, I, I, I ordered a cheeseburger. And uh, it, it, I can't even describe how bad it was. Anyway, I, so I'm hungry and I'm tired because I didn't sleep good. And the internet, oh, let me talk about the internet. The high speed internet, non-existent. I mean, I got the internet, I, it, it opened up uh, my uh, Gmail account after a while. And then when I tried to open up an email, it just sat there. And I literally took a shower, came back, and it was still sitting there. And it hadn't opened up or anything. So it was a non-existent speed for high-speed uh, internet. <laughs> but that's usual. I mean, I, you go to a motel and it says high speed. Uh, watch your back. Forgot to mention, the speed limit is 80 miles an hour. 80. I love it. Well, I just entered uh, Mon uh, Colorado. So many states. Anyway, that's a buffalo up there on top of the mountain or the hill. I think that's kind of cool. Every once in a while you'll see a cowboy or a jackalope, which uh, if you don't know what that is, that's a jackrabbit uh, that has uh, horns on its head. There's a giant one on a hill back there behind me here about 100 miles or so. I think I've got 50 miles, 42 miles to go, but I don't, I'm not sure. All right, I'm in Colorado now. It's uh, 11.44 in the morning, and I left at 9 from uh, Casper, Wyoming, so that's not too bad.